Hi, I'm Leo Leung, Senior Director of Product Management for Oracle Cloud, and today I'm going to talk about the differences in security on-prem and in the cloud, and why the cloud is actually more secure. So before I begin, I do want to talk about how to think about security. There's lots of different ways to slice it and dice it. I'm going to put it into seven buckets. First is the actual physical environments that your IT is running in. Second is the architecture of the physical infrastructure, be it servers or networking. Third are operating systems that your applications are running on. Fourth are the various tools for data management, whether you're talking about databases or storage. Fifth is networking, mainly the virtual networking and the access uh, around those resources. Sixth is the actual people, the security uh, professionals that are running that infrastructure and securing it. And finally, the compliance of these entire environments. So talking about on-prem first, what we find is the actual physical environments that they're running in vary tremendously. Whether you're talking about customers running their IT environments on-prem or in colos, the standards uh, dr dramatically vary. Architectures, oftentimes what we see is a mix of legacy and sometimes people have been able to modernize their architectures. And there's been significant changes in terms of how you would build your environments to be more secure and more efficient. And not everybody has caught up. Operating systems vary tremendously as well. Even though people end up standardizing on a Windows or a Linux, you often see many, many different uh, versions uh, in those environments, as well as different standards in terms of securing them. Uh, data management certainly is tremendously varied. When you think about the amount of database types of technologies and storage technologies, uh, customers have a huge gamut of different types. And again, it becomes very difficult to secure them. We also see that it varies greatly in terms of how customers encrypt their data either at rest or in transit, most customers tend to not encrypt everything. When you think about networking, also huge amount of variance in terms of the types of technologies deployed, as well as the standards they're deployed in. Uh, lots of the older models of networking don't provide a huge amount of granularity in terms of isolating those resources, isolating applications, as well as access. It's well known that there's a huge gap when it comes to various skilled security professionals. There's not that many of them uh, to go around. And many companies have difficult, difficulty hiring them and retaining them uh, as IT professionals within just a company. And then finally, when you think about compliance and maintaining it again for your own IT environment, it can get very expensive to keep it up to date with all the standards that apply, particularly if you're a global business and you need to be able to meet regional compliance standards. Uh, if you look at the cloud, that's where you start to see dramatic differences. So first and foremost, whether a cloud provider is using hosting facilities or hosting their own environments, there's a very high bar when it comes to uh, physical security as well as the redundancy of networks, power, et cetera, uh, as well as network connectivity. Architectures are all in the modern world. Uh, in order, frankly, to provide cloud services, people are using very modern physical network topologies as well as infrastructure for compute and storage. What you're going to see increasingly is at the operating system level, uh, cloud providers are really going to automatically patch and maintain them, uh, as well as provide multiple versions of those operating systems. But increasingly, that's going to become, become automatic, as that is a, uh, a surface area for attack. Data management, uh, it is much more homogenous. And most, if not all, cloud providers are really providing encryption by default uh, across, across the board, all their database types of technologies as well as storage technologies, just to take that off the table.
given that the architectures are modern for networking, the ability to control your virtual networks, segment, isolate, uh, what's called micro-segmentation, uh, is all available in the cloud, all as, all as uh, on-demand resources, very, very easy to access, uh, as well as get very granular in terms of how you control your networks uh, and architect them. People, there tends to be a concentration of highly skilled security professionals in the cloud world because they not only get to do the security in the environment, but there's lots of opportunities to do research to actually practice uh, the latest techniques when it comes to security. So there is a heavy concentration of skills. And then finally, the standard process uh, is tremendous around compliance. Again, as a provider, most cloud providers have to not only maintain global standards, but also regional standards uh, on a regular basis for all their infrastructure as well as all the services they, that they currently have, as well as new services that are spun up. Uh, Oracle, for example, has several hundred people that just do nothing but compliance of their environments. So to recap, here's how to think about security and the differences between on-prem and why actually cloud security uh, is significantly better than on-prem. Thanks so much for your time.